my channel. It is.
Yes. Mm. I'd, I'd say yes to that. Secondly, guys, let's be honest. We are growing up in a whole different environment from what you guys grew up in. Okay, like, in which sense? Okay. Like in which sense? Um, for example, primary. Just a little example is primary. Primary, that's when DSTV came out for us. Mm-hmm. You guys would go play outside. When you were DSTV was. Like, we were... We were we got different environments of growing up, and they're both good, but they are different. We are more in the Gen Z, New Age technology sense, and you guys were more. I don't know. I don't think. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. So it's different. It's not us growing up fast because most people have oh, so cool, like all of that stuff. It's not that. But it's just different eras. And we're going to grow up differently. We can't compare you to somebody who grew up in the 80s. That's a whole Valid. different... Exactly. We can't compare those two people. It was two yeah. different eras. Exactly. Well, well, you guys had your own... Little now you guys had my 2000 in your guys' mm-hmm. era. Yeah. Nearly my 90s in your guys' era. And yeah. we have my 2000. No, who's any? My 2012, my 2015. My 2006. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the era that we are fighting now. You see? Okay. Yes. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just different areas, man. It's mm-hmm. more or less. It's, it's, but I, I think with the the consumption of of media, I, yes. I feel like you guys could be maybe losing out on the essence of what is real. Yes. And what is not. Yes. Do you understand? Yeah. Also, I, I tend to feel like the pressures that you guys have, or, or the dating standards mm-hmm. that you guys are now exposed to. Ah, like crazier yeah. than what we were exposed to yeah. because now it's like what does your man drive mm. you know what does your man have what, what, does, what, you what know, photos are you taking exactly. on that yeah. what, what what can your man give those you those type of things man it be those type of things actually <laughs> Upokoto for the nation. Upokoto. Upokoto for the views. No, you know I I can I can you know I I like that because it it goes back to just genuineness. It means that your relationship is might be genuine in the sense that it's not high materialistic. Because to be honest, yeah, to be honest, my my two thousand I associate that with a lot of you guys like material things. You guys like. Yeah. You know, a lot of people when they best describe my two thousand two thousand be it material, be it yeah, be it money, you know. So yeah. those are sort of like what's normally associated with um, my two thousand, but I just wanted to debunk that and actually have a discussion in my two thousand like what is actually their take yeah. on dating standards yeah. and, and social media and all of that. Cause I, I, but the other thing, do you guys think maybe younger guys don't approach you guys because they're already thinking you guys want a fully established person? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> No, Kuzo, oh my goodness. <laughs> and I said Kuzo is nonchalant. Oh my goodness. But okay, that, okay let me ask, for example, yeah. Helen Libella, for example, let's, let's, you know, not to shame her or, or anything mm-hmm. like that, but when you look at someone like Cyan, right? Yeah. As someone, I can look like you are in your early 20s. Yes. When you look at a girl like that, what is the first thing that comes to mind? Yeah. Is that? Is that she's materialistic? Yes. Yes. It's the impression that she's giving off. But that's just how it is. I feel like we're just all fake, man. Hmm. We are fake. We are flipping fake. We are... What we are giving on social media, and I realized this during my mental health crisis, um, ish, school, it happened. Okay. Yeah, it happened. I won't go into it. But school happened, and I ended up in hospital. You guys know that. And I had to... Unfortunately, I had to not drop out, but I had to put school on pause to make sure that I'm okay mentally. And, um, okay, I just recently opened a salon, but 
when i opened my salon the amount of congratulations you are doing good all of those things they were coming in and someone actually said no i was like yo me go after she said congratulations i was like yo me if only you knew what was going on with me and i tell she's like no but what do you mean like you have everything your life is perfect i'm like girl what do you mean she's like no but your posts i'm like funny enough um i stopped posting on my personal life because i honestly felt like it was starting to be fake okay. i stopped the whole makeup taking pictures just because because that is fake yeah and fake locations that is fake and fake brands and that's fake to me and i stopped doing that so she was talking about those posts i'm like first of all i haven't done those posts and for example if i had to post a wine a champagne glass just like this how Isn't does it pressure. say living why does living it give best that life. impression i'm just drinking a glass of champagne guys like it was never that serious yeah like why didn't they one simple picture even the context thank you and we are so used oh, to okay. yeah we are so used to seeing fake posts that we associate any little post to something, with something that's real exactly you could be literally in your mom's car taking a video on the dashboard who are you with mm -hmm. or you could be holding a bag how much was that bag where did you get it guys like it's the littlest things get her iphone or you have a nice boyfriend which one like why do we go oh, to so that? Yes, why you guys would say that, that uh, Luna, like, the pressures of social media and the pressures of keeping up with the kardashians is 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 a lot it's a lot it really is it really is and after that hand like commented on my my whatsapp and said oh are you enjoying life and this and that is happening i'm so proud of you i'm like girl only you knew what's going on with me and she's like actually when you're talking about that because i didn't mention school she's yeah. like actually i also had to drop out because i didn't think what i was studying is good enough i'm like shit oh and i thought she was born out even like i thought she was studying this she was doing that she was done with school like everything in her life was just popping i also thought like what she was thinking about my life i was thinking about hers and I thought, damn, she had to tell me that she moved back home. I ended up moving back home. Like, it was the little things. And I realized that that is happening to everyone. If somebody is not having a child and having to give up their life for that child, they are dropping out of school because of this or because of finances or mental health or pressures or this fake life narrative. Like, there's just some chair. There's some. Hmm, I, I, you know, I never really thought about it up until... <laughs> now, now that you mention it, correct? Okay. Yeah, but 2000, not 2000. You know what? You know, and I think there, there's it's... something I, I in this moment, I'm realizing that I'm grateful for. I'm grateful that, although we had social media, um, but it wasn't this prevalent. Mm. You know, like Instagram. When let's say I was, let's say ten years back, ten years back, I would have been like 19, 20. It wasn't even. I don't even think Instagram was even that popping, yeah. you know. Because I mean, I, I could look back and I keep on like my pictures from my exist, third year. Yeah. No, because I I remember. I think I started being on Instagram when I was doing my third year. So that my twenty seventeen, twenty sixteen. Yeah. I don't think and I look at actually. and I look at like some of the pictures I used to post, which now, funny enough, I have removed, right? Yeah. But I look back on that and I'm like, this was when social media was innocent mm. this is when social media was just it was just genuine selfies and just exactly. I, I didn't think about it too much i just had like a new wig install then maybe it's a wig installer oh it's better you just got a new wig man exactly oh yeah. and we i was just yeah. feeling myself i'm not even thinking about my background you know i'm like now when and before also, i post something yeah. i have to be like Wait, like who yeah, the 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 exactly uh, yo. also another thing i feel like back then those pictures were accepted at the times you get what i'm saying True. yeah you were busting back then mm. you were those yeah. when you posted oh, that yeah. picture you're like nah damn, <laughs> this is a pretty picture but looking back also another thing that i hate why are we looking back on old pictures and saying but why did i wear this why was i doing this yeah at that time that is what was buzzing <laughs> the eyebrows are lying it off it was what was buzzing back then now why are we embarrassed of that like why are we not embracing oh guys this is how i look like why is that not showing you that you've moved forward that you've grown that you're evolving thank you hmm. why are we not seeing it in that perspective yeah no i think it's also just you know, guys there's just so much I, I feel like though you say that i just think in your late 20s the pressure isn't is no longer maybe just how you look mm -hmm. Okay, because maybe uh, how you look, maybe how you wanna like you want guys to view yeah. and all of that is very important in your early twenties because it's like 
your looks are okay i said they are how that's that's the value you assume you bring yeah. as, a, as a female or yeah. as a woman in your early 20s yeah 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 that's another mm. I'm not a phase that we all went through. Eh? No, besides even going through. through. I'm I'm in my late twenties and I think I'm still going through that. You know. Mm. I think I, I suffer from not feeling like whatever i'm doing or where i am is good enough, good enough. Yeah. yeah you know and i think it's sad because maybe when i'm just thinking about my career yeah, yeah. or thinking about where i would have thought i would have been yeah. now yeah but i think in doing so you're forgetting what you i'm have. forgetting what i've actually achieved you. you know at yeah. my age mm. it's just that you, the problem is when you start looking too much at what is happening on next door or what other people are doing yeah. you start to look at your own journey and question for it you can do it you know why am i not progressing yeah. why am i not achieving yeah. but without even even seeing what about okay although maybe you haven't achieved things like physically like things have been manifested yeah. physically you were good what about another. the battles that you were yes. able to fight mentally or spiritually or yes. emotionally yes. you know it's just that you can't give someone an award for emotional intelligence yeah. or you can't say oh you overcame grief or you we don't yeah. get yeah. awards we get awarded yeah. for things like yes yeah, she completed school she got mutaka said congratulations because you are one year sober that's actually that's more total congratulations because you got an award because you're standing there a little scout something yeah, a little congratulations something. you just bought a car congratulations you just bought a house you just you know so i yeah. think somehow it's, it's because we've reserved congratulations for specific moments and specific things that mm. now we feel like well dad if i've not achieved anything the congratulations that are the guy yeah you understand but in yeah. terms of what you just said i got almost like a pressure oh yeah we're like i don't want to lie to you it happens in your 40s it happens in your 30s it happens in your late 20s even now like, I, I i sometimes i'm like okay <laughs> king but, but funny, enough, like, funny enough i feel like it's better when you're going through this with somebody else i'm very grateful that i've got three other cousins that i'm going through this with so we can advise each other best. We can laugh about it because obviously yeah. we are just jokes at this point. We <laughs> laugh about every damn thing, chap. But we can laugh about it, and it's not. It doesn't hurt as much. Yeah. But there's people out here, Baywani, Baywani, yeah. and they've got maybe a child to take care of as well, or they don't. They're not going through the same journey that we are going through. And as much as it's hard for us, yeah. I can agree to that. But it's we can only better imagine. because we have each other. Yeah. So yeah. Bohana and Kevin. And give it to you. Ooh, Ooh, yeah. Yo. Yeah. Exactly. Yo, exactly. Also, I've got older sisters as well who are there to tell you, well, I'm not going to give you. What's up, man? You're, you're trying, you're pushing, you know? Yeah. And another thing, Kuto mentioned something. Funny enough, I I had that pressure, but I don't have it anymore. Mm-hmm. My pressure right now is that I feel like I'm not doing enough. And my problem is that I am also comparing to myself with people that are not my peers. Hmm. That is what I am having an issue with right now, and I think it's mostly because everyone around me is older. Hmm. I am the youngest one, and when I see, funny enough, when I see my cousin who's thirty-five, I'm thinking, why don't I? Why don't I have that Mercedes Benz? Why do I not have that Bima? But yeah. I'm working towards that. I am, and I'm damn hard, but I am hard on myself because i'm seeing what people older than me are doing i don't know if you can say i i understand yeah. but i i think my biggest takeaway from all of that is is just to say you know as someone who's older and having had experience being younger and seeing you know my people on what everybody else is doing what yeah. everybody else yeah. is buying whatever because if if that's who you're going to be you will never be satisfied True. nothing will ever be good enough for you you will yeah. never feel like kifi <laughs> 
you will never ever feel like you have arrived because yeah. just when you thought you have arrived your friend buys a better car than you and then you then it's it it, it, it it's that cycle yeah do you understand so i think it's it's, it's more about giving yourself grace for what it is that you're doing and understanding that yes. you know your journey is not going to be the same as mine the obstacles that you face or that i face mm-hmm. could never be the same because yeah. the same assignment mm-hmm. assignment 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 you know so i think what i would say more or less to, to you guys even is it's more about finding passion Find some things in the world mm. for you, like you know what? I actually love this. Yeah, I love doing this. Even if I had to do it for free, I would just do it for free. Yeah. You know, it's not easy. Humuta everything else that's going on around you. Yeah. But even when you're on social media, say to yourself, but just because I posted a picture, I didn't give guys any context. You go to caption if like the sun is out or whatever, yeah. and you might be assuming that this is where I'm doing. Okay. But I think social media repeatedly has showed us that. Let's say some of these girls who do post that they are in happy relationships. Jiggy jiggy ke bana batu ban. Oh why do you are there's blood on the floor. Ten ten past four. What I had. So always just remember that. <laughs> always just remember that that yeah. people don't provide context. I gave you a picture. Doing, yeah. Now I I left it to you. Whether you've yeah. created your own scenario, you've created your own situations and whatnot, you know. And funny enough, mm-hmm. okay. Uh, 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 should you yeah. should finish? Yes. I'm finished. Oh, um, I was going to say that. You see, you are saying that. Mm-hmm. You are saying that. We are trying hard mm-hmm. to not do that, but honestly, I feel like it's something that's going to happen. I feel like it's human nature. Yeah, we are designed that way, and it's going to happen. Like how you are saying this, that's something that I've put into. Okay, I'm, I'm on a self discovery journey. Yeah. Also, I'm trying to learn people. Like for example, little things. You might not like me holding the stem of your glass. It yeah. might literally piss you off, and you don't tell me that. I won't know that that pisses you off until you tell me. Yeah. So I'm gonna. I'm trying to understand people, understand myself, and also understand what people are getting from me. So if I'm being mean or rude, I'd like to be told so I can correct it. Okay. Also taking accountability. I'm trying to do that. Yeah, you know, cause yeah. I, I think there was there was um an incident this morning, and I I remember I said on Twitter, like kifila hore. One of my two thousand in the way you guys have like really soft parenting, you know, you wore mm. glasses, you were champagne glasses, you weren't to be dropped. It's not really when you guys let's say you lose your parents or whatnot. Rasala never be too the evil sister, the evil relative mm. yeah. because we cannot live up to the expectations that, we that your want, parents yeah. have created for you yes. guys. Yes. Do you understand? Mm. The soft living, this you get whatever you want. Parents going out of the way to provide yeah. even things that technically they, they shouldn't or they didn't have to, not even shouldn't because they don't have the responsibility. Yeah. But when shit hits the fan, we also going to hit the fan, dog. To, to face reality. Yeah. The, oh, my Nothing changed. It's just growth. Let me rather say that. Growth in terms of social media. Growth in terms of apps phones be them being accessible to us laptops it's unfortunately guys growth is going to happen it's going to happen and we are going to be raised differently but do you also believe what a hair level we can experience a parent differently yes very very and because i i, I you know I, I was thinking to myself i'm like the mother that i know and the mother that my brother knows mm. <laughs> Two different people, bro. <laughs> it's definitely yeah. not. The you same know, person. with your ass, mama, and he knows, Mara, what you did was wrong. Yeah, and you're like, girl, because I'm envious. I'm like, well, where was all of this when? What are you saying me? about it? And she's not saying anything. Yeah, especially when Nadi's last born. No, Nadi's last born. The last born are the issue. They are the issue. No, 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 no. These people would build differently. Honestly, honestly, because I, I, you know, I look back now and I just say to myself, man, like, how can we really expect? But, but the parenting is so different. No, but I'm, I'm, I'm glad we're actually having this conversation about how we, we experience yeah. things differently. Yeah. We, we see dating differently. Mm. The as like, I, uh, how social media affects us and all of the prevalent things and who yeah we, we barely talk about because i'm like oh my 2000 and whatever people are stuff and not understanding what's going on but that's the stuff like only to find that actually you guys have your own fair share of 
of struggles. Yeah. yeah. Own facial of struggles, own facial of insecurities, own facial of of <laughs> drama. Exactly. Maranje, like but otherwise would you what would you say to those who think are my two thousand and soft dilemma? Honestly, oblivious to the future yes. honestly um i'm just gonna say just learn to listen bitch i'm gonna say this straight to your face you cannot even be nice about it i mean i just learn to listen like also thinking of of course my peters and their think they are living life but understand where they're coming from and if you don't understand, sit down with one and just dissect their brain and see what is happening with them. Because also, now that you're saying this, we were both dif- thinking different of each other's lives and what's going on yeah. in each other's lives. Yeah. Well, well, so, learning to listen and listening to what you went through, what I went through. Yeah. We honestly, that's something like we went through the same things just in a different context. Yeah. Where our things were over social medias and your guys' was with no shoes outside. Yeah. Well, well like it's different but it's growth and we are going to move unfortunately we are living in a time and age in which we are going to move things are moving and it's either you stay behind you fall or you move with them you see but honestly just sit down and listen and understand yeah that's the only thing i would say <laughs> i spoke a lot well. yeah high tumble, like, when it, high tumble, my 2000 years. What is the one thing we don't know about to buy it or have pila pila? Hoso, like clear it up. What are you thinking? Luna na halor rata chapter di dan pila pila. Mara, pila pila. Yeah. Hopo lang kuri. Yeah. Tara 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 tara. Okay, so na lipili ko. Lipidile, lipidile. But she's not wrong. Lipidile. She's not Let's wrong. Let's not judge her. Lipidile, little girl. Exactly. Hey, mm. just when I know so, I was like, "Let's say if you read your daily, you say Mara." Yes, but you pass it. You know why? Mara, no Mara. I will change the name. Thank you. Amen. Oh, guys, this brings us to the end of this video. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed the conversation. So I hope you guys subscribe, share, like, let's engage. I don't blame people for my two thousand, my eighties, my nineties. What is it that you actually find that we have more things in common than we actually realize? That we actually realize. You know, so some of the struggles and insecurities that you guys have actually live not on its exactly. own. Even maybe my eighties and my nineties, they had their yeah, struggles. just in a different environment. Yeah. So let's engage in the comment sections. They share some of the challenges and insecurities that you think yeah. um, maybe you've experienced at excuse me a certain point day and then root of what you know. Yeah. But apart from that, please don't forget to subscribe, like, yeah. share my content. But most importantly, guys, don't forget oh, to subscribe. Oh, oh, oh. And I'll see you guys on the next video.